What's up, y'all? I got a film of the feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into my good sis voice video first. Casting that upset with TMZ after article. Karma spoke with Maddie. Neek fans mad at King. Let's get it. Yesterday, I mentioned that TMZ reported that Sky Jackson was arrested for putting hands on her boyfriend. Well, when TMZ first posted the story, the cover had Kaisenet and Sky Jackson, and then they changed it to just Sky Jackson. Here's what Kaisenet had to say about it. This is not the first blog to do some weird shit like this. What? Why? Why you put me on the picture? Cause you know there's NPCs out there that would think, oh my God, Kai is Sky's boy, Kai is Sky's boyfriend. Holy huh? shit! You know how much people I had hit me up. Do you know how much people I had hit me up? It's how many people, Kai? How many people? Hey, I know y'all guilty cause y'all changed the picture. Y'all changed it. What is it? What is it with? How can we make this story better? Oh yeah, let's include Kai Sinat. Include other niggas. <laughs> Neek supporters were upset after she let it be known that Dwayne was the one that paid for Kaiser's school supplies. We gotta go get his school clothes, his school supplies. He needs socks, I need socks. He need muscle shirts, boxers. He just need the whole rundown basically for school. Uh -huh. Because he's going to first grade. Say thanks Dwayne. Thanks, the way for the school supplies and school shirts. Crazy how she ain't wrong at all. King decided to be in Thailand for a month and knew Kaiser was starting school shaking my head. I'm glad he does have Dwayne there, it matters. At first I never yes. really cared about the engagement party situation, however, to travel for two months without seeing your kid knowing school is coming up is crazy work as a father. <laughs> yeah, she need to just go ahead and put that other man on child support. I'm gonna give King the benefit of the doubt and say that he cashed that neek. I think he should have been- I'm gonna get- <laughs> I can't even give King that benefit of the doubt because King, King won't need to be like, yo, I need $273.46 to be exact for you to send the Kaiser. <laughs> okay. <laughs> for school. Um, Co-parenting myself, dealing with this type shit, certain shit you just gotta do um, as a woman because it ain't gonna get done. Um, I mean, a nigga could be in a whole relationship with you, know that the kid got school next week, but plan something next week, or don't even think about the school supplies and shit and tell you you were supposed to tell him that. That's how niggas operate. Um, is it right? No. I think he absolutely should have been there. I do think, though, King is on a, um, a more personal transition right now. Uh, which I'm not mad at either. Sometimes as adults, baby, I let your mama handle it. We got to do what we got to do. Um, so ultimately, I think that's where, I think that's what he's on right now. So it is what it is. Um, but she ain't wrong for thinking Dwayne. Come on, Dwayne. Hear it. In there physically, but he did FaceTime him. So I guess that's better than nothing. Maddie mentioned during an interview <laughs> with Toot Reacts that she did have a conversation. see my Oh, y'all can see not my ceiling fan. Um, the things. I can do something about that. I can do something about that. It's with Carmen recently through the DMs. I won't say I fully misjudged their situation, um, but overall, I would say I did. Because based off of what y'all see, because what I put out on the internet was one thing, but what I, how I dealt with, how I dealt with my ex behind closed doors is a whole nother thing. With that being said, like, I defended her a lot more than y'all know. I fought for her a long, but it was all. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You shouldn't have never came out saying a lot of the shit that you were saying because you did. If you did defend her, then you would have said that shit publicly or he wouldn't have been knowing what he was doing. camera. You get what I'm saying? Like, and so I had this accountability. Like y'all would never see, y'all would never know the conversations that was had, y'all would never know. There were some things that you know, like, Y'all gotta understand that I was with this person and he's telling me this and he's showing me this. You know what I mean? And so like, can I put it on me? I'm, and I'm and I love this person. I, and I and I still do. You know what I mean? And I care about this person. And I and I girl, not I still do. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I don't think Corey's getting back with Maddie. I think that right there is a dub. Okay. Care about this person, you know, becoming a better man and and you know what I'm saying he he owned up to his he owned up. Uh, 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 Let's not get it twisted. Like, he's owned up to his mistakes and things like that. I just didn't think that some things would repeat with me, you know? How? So with that Why? being said, like, I'm just being real with y'all. 
I also said it on an on interview, and I'll say it publicly because she deserves that publicly for you guys. I apologized to Carmen behind closed doors. We, I, 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 we, we, I wrote her and we spoke. So I apologized to her. Um, I did. And I'll do it on, I'll do it publicly because, you know what I'm saying? Like, she deserves that. Like, I ain't even gonna act like, oh, I, like. You only apologize because you know what it feel like now. But uh, apology is apology. It ain't that deep. Hell, I'm glad she apologized to her. Hopefully she did. And I respect that. So, um. Maddie also said during the interview with Toot Reacts that she was the one that paid for Carmen and Corey divorce papers. She said Dang. when she first got with Corey, he did tell her that he was married, but it seemed like while they were together, he was dragging his feet on filing a divorce. Paid for his divorce papers? Huh? <laughs> no. Hold on, somebody said, you're so late with these videos. Everyone and T channel done posted so many more stories and are up to date. I don't get why y'all need to even report. Makes no sense. <laughs> oh shit. I thought I had time. I changed my mind. Um, y'all, first of all, I just want to say this. Ain't no way in hell I'm paying for somebody else's divorce. Knowing damn well, if that nigga was ready to leave, he would have paid for himself. He got the bread to pay for a divorce now. That shit probably ain't nothing but $267. <laughs> I don't necessarily know how much it is, but got to be no more than $267.43. It was no reason for you to pay for that. <laughs> Divorce papers and some days Maddie admitted that she felt very insecure about the situation they would have arguments she would say listen if you want to go back to her then go back to her but I'm not going to continue to be with a man that's still married and not filing the paperwork and just saying that he's going to file the paperwork me personally I don't feel like Corey want to get a divorce I feel like he wants to he be did. in and out of relationship this is what he wanted with Carmen for the longest when yes. he get tired of Carmen he, he go to somebody else when she's single and he's single they come back together that's what I feel dollars, like man. he wants but Maddie said that she's not doing that that's why she paid for the paperwork to get filed she also let it be known continuously that she is the one that's paying for everything throughout this whole relationship she said that Corey's accounts is in the negative and that she is the one that's funding this relationship so if y'all saying that she's with him just for the money and the clout the money he doesn't have the clout ain't paying for nothing because she's paying for everything so neither one of these things are beneficial to her she's basically saying she also talked about almost leaving Corey after he posts Carmen in her birthday suit she said she was very upset about that she said she was nowhere near him when he did that and when he did come around her, they had a big argument and they almost broke up, but they didn't break up. She confirmed again that she is indeed pregnant. She said with everything going on is getting her worked up and that she did have to go to the hospital recently, which I think I posted that video yesterday. She had to go to the hospital because she was bleeding. So, but thank Dang. God the baby is okay. Y'all leave that comments down below. Let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that. After everything Maddie said, it looked like- Hold on, I'ma just say this. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of believe in Corey. Hear me out. I'm kind of believe in Corey on this end of her wanting something. And I don't mean just like a relationship. It was kind of something more. Um, almost like she wanted to marry him type shit because it's like, why is this so serious like why like you know you got with a man who was still married and publicly going through it they got to be separated for a year anyway um they was just with each other not too long ago so i don't know how that worked with the court of law but you actually thought that he was gonna do different why you really bothers me you know what i'm saying i don't I don't understand that. Like she's going to go right back to him. So good luck. Now let's talk about Jackie Ida because she got her supporters very upset. People were assuming recently that she got married because she changed her last name on her social media. She said she, she said she had just got out of a marriage, then a relationship right after. I mean, hell, if you still just got out of a marriage, then what are we talking about? Ain't no way in hell 
I'm fighting this hard over a pregnant, uh, uh, a married man, and I just got out of a marriage my damn self. That's crazy. Trying a little Delulu with no salute. Okay. Well, Corey just got that. Corey got that good, good. He Michael Jackson bad. And she was attracted to him for his attractive ass. You know what I'm saying? Something going on. Media. So people were pointing it out, congratulating her and wishing her well. And she was blocking the people that were mentioning her being married or her last name changing. Girl. Wait, what? Cause she changed her last name on her social support that it looked like she's gonna go right back to him. So good luck. Now let's talk about Jackie Ida cause she got her supporters very upset. People were assuming recently that she got married cause she changed her last name on her social media. So people were pointing it out, congratulating her and wishing her well. And she was blocking the people that were mentioning her being married or her last name changing. Girl. Jackie is a Leo, so this makes complete sense to me. I'm a Leo as well, and I totally get her. She is psychotic, um, but it makes sense to us, and that's really all that matters to us because we're Leos and everything is about us. Yes, it is. Um, yes, she married that man. This is alleged. I, this is There's no facts behind this. Yes, she married that man. Yes, okay. she logged into her account, promptly changed her last name. No, yep. she don't want to answer questions about it <laughs> because it's none of your business. Period. I don't understand what the what the melee is. Yes, I'm gonna block you because y'all irritating. I ain't ready to talk about it yet. <laughs> Let me tell y'all. She's such something. a Leo. I understand that if you're not a Leo, you don't understand why Leos do what it is that they do. Only we can understand why we do what we do. Okay. What's understood don't have to be explained. I understood everything that just happened. Basically, she got married to a nigga, and it ain't none of y'all business. But don't be coming over here making it y'all business and, and uh, pointing out, obviously, that I got married. Duh, I got married. That's why I changed my last name. I asked y'all for y'all congrats, Malaysia. I didn't ask for none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Jackie, you are hilarious. I'm going to unblock you. Hopefully, if you see this, girl, don't block me. I am defending your name, girl. Uh -uh. You're not wrong. <laughs> Leos are just so unapologetically Leos and they don't care. The world revolves around them and it's their world. Literally. <laughs> and she's going to have three babies and we will know nothing of it, but she will put the names in her bio. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that I don't willingly share is up for discussion. When people Y'all speculating about Jackie Aina being, changing her last name on her handle, either being married or getting married in secret and, and, and. Hey, you guys, she said, don't discuss her business. Stay out of her business. She did not willingly disclose that information for a reason. Stay out of Jackie Aina's business. That's it. Don't say, I did not warn you when she come for you. Jackie Aina doesn't play like that. Don't make speculation. When she is ready and she wants to, she will discuss it. If she does not discuss it, she does not want to discuss it. Stay out of Jackie Aina's business. Stay out of people's business. Okay. Compliments like this. Uh -uh. I made Halo cry because they said this about his dad. I really don't F with DDG, but that's a cute baby. F the haters. You look happy, enjoy it. Not gonna lie, you're a great dad. Uh, DDG, but that's a cute baby. Uh, I don't fuck with you either. Uh, I don't know you, matter of fact. You know me. You're on my page. You don't tell me I don't fuck with you. I know. I know. I know he ain't got no money. I know. He's a broke ass, <laughs> ugly ass bitch. And say, I don't want you to think I'm cute, weak ass. And he's like, <laughs> y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below um i'm not gonna lie this this whole like Corey and maddie situation is already getting old for me um but i'm gonna still talk about it i know it's the same talk though um she wanted to be with this man he was selling her all kind of dreams she was just daydreaming with the nigga or whatever and then here we are you know what i'm saying that's all i got so y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below love y'all appreciate y'all hell yeah